we've talked about some practices. What is a cool concept that you've learned uh, through your work with MTBO? There's so many. <laughs> That's the common response. There's so many. All right, just just like give me. I'm like like flipping through the archives here. Um, to see what really wants to be shared in this moment. Okay, um, a really cool concept that I have learned and am definitely still learning through my work with MTVO is the art of creating intentional containers. Um, and you know, when I say, when I speak to a container, what I'm really talking about is a divine energetic space that is holding me and my energy through a process that I have designed for myself and designed and intuited as like, this is what, this is something that I'm really feeling called to gain more wisdom, more awareness, more skill, more mastery in. And the art of the container is to say, I'm going to work with time magic. I'm going to create a space for myself in time to move through and gain more of the awareness and mastery and connection and wisdom and understanding that I'm wanting to cultivate. And you know, to give some examples, like coursework is a container. Um, receiving an activation is a container. You know, saying, all right, I really, and it's, you know, it's inter you asked the question about concepts, like containers are one of the primary ways of bringing through my own wisdom and understanding about a concept. So, you know, let's say like, all right, I'm really wanting to like, dive more deeply into womb consciousness, or I'm wanting to dive more deeply into peace, or I'm wanting to dive more deeply into creativity. I can create for myself an intentional container with practices that I'm committing to and know that in doing so, I've created an ally for me to become more of the wisdom that I already am and know I can be in this area. And how does one go about creating and setting a container? So creating, the process of creating a container for yourself is really, I mean, first and foremost, it's a matter of connecting with the power of your own intention because in doing that you've already created an energetic field that is the container that's starting to orient to you so if I am saying all right I'm really wanting to commit to my own creativity and learning more about creativity and what it means for me to be creative that's an intention and then the field starts to orient to that. And then I can go, okay, I really want to dive into this for the next four weeks. Then that's another step. Now I've got a container of 28 days for myself. And then I can start to break it down further and go, all right, within these 28 days, I want to spend five minutes each day meditating on creativity and my creativity and listening to what comes through for me. Then I want to spend another five minutes journaling about what came in in that time. And then I want to spend one hour each week in a like free flow creative, this is my time to channel like whatever wants to come through. And it could be drawing something. It could be making myself a ritual bath. It could be creating a flower mandala, like whatever creative thing wants to happen in that time gets to happen in that hour. And that's what I'm going to do over the course of these 28 days. 
and I'm going to be committed to that and follow through on that commitment. And then that would take me through the process of my own container around creativity and connecting to what that means for me. Beautiful. I can't wait to clip that piece there. And I'm hoping, can you tell me more um, about like, why, why, why do we set containers? How does that uh, change the experience versus if I were to just go and, and start painting or something? So what I've found the like the real importance and utility and also magic of creating containers is you know like there's the ocean and then there's smaller bodies of water and the ocean is amazing like the ocean's really magical. We all know that. But you get to do different things when you put the water inside of different containers. It's different to be in a bath. It's different to have a glass of water. It's different to float in a swimming pool. It's different to immerse yourself in a cold plunge. The process of creating a container is really it's meeting the ocean right it's meeting the infinite mm-hmm. and saying okay infinite i'm asking and inviting you with my intention to take this finite space so i can engage with you and learn with you in this very particular way 